Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to another episode of CUDA Education. Um, today, I'm just going to run through a couple of examples of uh, Vulkan API uh, applications, right? So these are computer graphics applications that um, we're going to attempt to break down and understand in code. So if you're new to CUDA Education, uh, definitely check out um, our, our um, tutorials. Um, to install these examples, uh, you will need to look at Vulcan, CUDA Education Vulcan tutorial number 13. So this one is, um, this is an application that has a, a planet with rocks swirling and rotating around it. And as you can see, it's fully functional, fully interactive. Um, you have the rocks rotating. Um, I guess you have about 8,000 worth of rocks and it's rotating around the planet. And uh, we are going to try and break down the underlying Vulcan code that makes all of this happen. Now notice, this is um, these these tutorials and this application is running on a Windows machine, so it's a Windows machine. Um, I personally have a GeForce uh, GTX 1050 Ti NVIDIA graphics card, but basically, if you're on a Windows machine and you have a graphics card that is Vulkan capable, you can run all of these all of these examples that um, I'm about to show you. Okay, so let's, um, let's go through another one of them. Uh, let's do compute cloth. And if you can see here, this is a situation where a cloth is falling and wrapping around a ball. And then we have a light source up here that's beaming down on the ball, okay? So these tutorials are courtesy of Sa Sascha Williams out of Germany. Um, and he created uh, these, uh, these examples. Uh, the, these, these examples, I'm sorry, the examples are courtesy of Sascha Williams out of Germany. And notice also we could simulate wind. So if we use wind here, we could uh, simulate wind. So notice that the wind is kind of blowing. A certain way, and then if we take off the wind. Um, it doesn't have it anymore, but then if we put it back on. You could see there's there's some kind of wind simulation. So I'll run it again, just so everyone can see. It's a beauty, isn't it? So this is all natively generated. It's not pre-rendered or anything. This is all being actively calculated on the GPU at this time. So uh, let's go through a couple other examples. Um, So the code, the code for these examples are, is freely available on the internet. Um, but of course, our goal is to break it, up, break it apart and understand it and understand how it is built. So the next set of tutorials from CUDA Education is going to be my attempt at, at um, breaking down and, and understanding how, how these, um, these examples work. So this is just fire with smoke. And we can, uh, that's, that's, that's that. Um, let's do, and this one is just a gun. Uh, here at CUDA Education, we do not advocate for violence whatsoever. Uh, this is just, an example of a gun. As you can see, there's a picture background. 
Uh, let's do this guy. So anyway, there, there's a, there are a lot of examples here that Sasha uh, created. So I'm only going to go through a handful of them. So this is a ball with uh, light coming out of it. And we could take off the light and put the light back on. And then we could do some different things. Okay. Uh, let's do... This guy, so this is a reflection off of uh, uh, a scene on a ball. Um, this is just simple gears. Okay, so um, there, there are a lot of examples, um, and I feel that the best way to learn Vulcan is to actually have running code on your machine that you could tinker with and you could change. So this one now, we could see you could take out the wireframe. We could put in back the wireframe. We could take out the split screen, just have, you know, and we could make the wireframe more detailed, less detailed and you know things like that so there's a lot to learn here guys um as i said uh CUDA education tutorial number 13 is my video walkthrough of how to get these guys um how to get these guys uh running on your windows uh windows based machine with a, a vulcan api capable graphics card again my graphics card is an nvidia gtx 1050 Ti graphics card. Um, we do have some ray tracing examples here, but my graphics card is not capable of running the ray tracing examples because um, I don't I don't have a, a RTX card or a, a ray tracing enabled card. So as a result, um, I can't run these ray tracing things. I can run um, this ray tracing thing because it's. Uh, it's it's not using the the ray tracing functionality from Vulkan. So if I uh, run this guy, it's sort of doing it from a different perspective or what have you. But as you can see, it's um, attempting to do stuff. And we have a frames per second thing. So if you're interested in computer graphics, not just playing games, but actually creating stuff. And if you have a creative mindset, my entire CUDA education tutorial series assumes you have absolutely no um, programming experience. Again, my tutorial series assumes you have absolutely no programming experience. Tutorial number one goes, helps you to go through installing the Vulkan API on your machine so you could start writing code and, and running um, the Vulkan API from your code and running code you know, on your machine that's, you know, developed in Visual Studio. Uh, this one is Visual Studio 2019, but the, the tutorial, tutorial number one is Visual Studio 2017 Community Edition. So uh, definitely guys, check out kudaeducation.com. Uh, you know, uh, check out all the tutorials on the, uh, the CUDA Education store. I will have the tutorial for, um, tutorial number 13 available in the description below so by the time you see this uh the tutorial should be ready um for for you to install this on your machine and be able to run to run all of these examples on your machine uh let's do this one this is just a It's just a regular thing. So this is real life computer graphics applications, guys. Not a this is not a joke. 
So we want to learn how to do all of these things and be able to put pixels on the screen for ourselves and run simulations and animations and whatever it is we want to do. All right. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Have a great day.